We're here at REIT Week 2010 in Chicago. Joining me is Mary Frankel, an analyst with Moody's Investor Service. Mary, thank you for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. Much has been made of the rating agencies' moves to reform some of their ratings processes. How has this impacted how you look at REITs, if at all? Well, actually, the reforms that you're hearing about pursuant to this new reg or rule uh, 17 uh, G5 really don't affect our REIT group uh, because it's mostly applicable to the uh, structured finance side of the business, whether it's residential or CMBS or uh, asset-backed types of financings. And, of course, on that side of the business, they are making uh, changes and modifications pursuant to the rules. But when it comes to the REIT side, uh, which we call fundamental ratings or corporate finance type ratings, our methodology hasn't changed. And basically, uh, we uh, are still looking at companies pretty much the same way. And uh, we are somewhat pleased that our REIT ratings have held up fairly well in light of everything that's happened. How have the steps that REITs have taken to delever impacted your ratings of REITs? REITs have issued since the beginning of 2009 about $50 billion of equity and debt. I think it was about $29 billion of equity and about uh, uh, $26, 27000000000 billion of uh, unsecured notes. And they've been very fortunate to access the market. And it has helped them a great deal to bring down their fixed charge coverage, to deleverage, to delever, as well as to bring down their uh, secure debt levels. And how would you say that lenders are approaching the uh, commercial real estate market? Well, I think lenders are getting back into the business. You hear about a lot of the banks or have either started their conduits up or are looking how they're going to get back into the business. I hear that some groups have been pulled back together. And uh, I think uh, institutions are trying to figure out how to make this work in light of what has happened over the past few years. Uh, however, uh, basically, there clearly is a bifurcation between the A companies and the B and the C companies, just like we're seeing a bifurcation between the A properties and the B and C properties, because our companies that have um, uh, high-end properties, A properties, are telling us they're really having no problems with the insurance companies and whatever getting financing, if they so choose to uh, take advantage of uh, secured mortgage financing. But clearly, the companies with de uh, other types of properties, B and C properties, there are more issues getting those refinanced. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Mary. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.